project for today is the stepper motors. This is the uh, underside of the duet and currently um, the motors are controlled by this card. From the looks of it it's probably possible to keep that card and use it but if it was to fail I don't think I could get a replacement so I think I'd rather stick with the um, TB6600 uh, step motor drivers. Um, it's quite a simple process this. We've got Z on this terminal, Y on this terminal and X on this terminal and these just simply pull off. So that's no problem at all. Um, and I've done the Z axis which is just down here so the wires are coming in from um, the rear of the machine and um, we've wired them into the uh, stepper motor driver controller uh, I'm using the um, Mac free USB board um, it seems to suit my needs it interfaces with uh, Mac 3 software no problem at all um, and I've done some basic tests and I've got the um, the Z axis actually stepping at the moment it's a, lot, a long way to go and a lot to learn this is all a learning curve as well for me so next job now is we're gonna remove the connector leads for the Y and the Z axis and wire them the same as we did for the Z axis. All three X, Y, and Z motors in our setup. I've opted to run at 12 volts uh, currently, as that's what the machine was originally. Um, I could run it at 24 volts, but we're going to try 12. Um, I seem to have motion now on all the axes. Um, just a quick show you, I'll just a quick home on the, uh, the axes. And if we now do a quick homing, so if we do Z0, X0, Y0, this should take us all back to the original origin points. And that seems to work fine. Um, next job, I think, is now the proximity sensors. And I think we'll leave the motor until last. Okay, quick overview of the wiring. We're starting with the CNC breakout board, uh, the Max 3. 12 volt power supply, 30 amp rated. Then we've got our three TB660 stepper motor drivers. Uh, the leads from the back of the lathe are uh, quite nice and long so they've just come straight out. This is all a temporary setup just to test things. These are running a little bit warm but obviously um, they, they will need a heat sink. But everything seems to be... Uh, well I'm controlling the stepper modes at the moment. Um, it's a start. I mean this is a learning curve for me as much as it is probably for you. Uh, but I'm trying to keep it simple and basic. The wiring is very simple. All the instructions are on the top here, basically. I will give a more detailed explanation of how I've wired this uh, in a diagram. Uh, but as, as to now, we've got full control of all three axes um, using the Mac 3 software. If we use the jog wheel in Mac 3, um, you can see the numbers will start to increment. You can hear the lathe moving, so there's no problem at all with that. So we've taken those all off. Um, we now type in here Z zero X zero Y zero zero. <laughs> oh, doesn't allow. 
and we now press return show on the light all the axes is rehomed so that seems to be working fine